Unraveling the mystery of the chupacabra's bite. Hello, everyone. Today, we're embarking on a fascinating journey to explore a rather unique phrase in the English language, chupacabra's bite. This expression might sound mysterious and even a bit eerie, but don't worry, we're here to demystify it for you. Whether you're an English language learner or just someone intrigued by curious phrases, you're in the right place. First things first, let's dive into what a chupacabra is. Originating from Latin American folklore, the chupacabra is a legendary creature that's said to inhabit parts of the Americas. It's often depicted as a fearsome beast that preys on livestock, particularly goats, and supposedly, it drains their blood. The word, chupacabra, itself comes from Spanish, with chupar, meaning to suck, and cabra, meaning goat. Hence, it translates to goat sucker. Now, when we talk about the chupacabra's bite, in a figurative sense, we're venturing into the realm of metaphor. This phrase isn't about a literal encounter with the mythical creature. Instead, it's often used to describe situations that are surprisingly harmful or draining, especially those that come unexpectedly or from a seemingly harmless source. It captures the essence of something that sucks the energy or resources out of a person or situation, much like the chupacabra is said to do to goats. Understanding how to use chupacabra's bite in conversation can add a colorful layer to your English communication. It's a creative way to express the impact of an unexpected challenge or a draining experience. For example, if someone feels overwhelmed by a sudden workload, they might say, this project is like a chupacabra's bite, it's completely draining me. It's important to note, however, that this expression is quite imaginative and might not be understood in all contexts or by all speakers, so it's best used in informal settings among people familiar with the term. Exploring phrases like, chupacabra's bite, not only enriches your vocabulary but also gives you a glimpse into the cultural narratives that shape language. We hope this video has illuminated this intriguing expression for you and added an interesting tidbit to your English learning journey. Remember, language is not just about words and grammar. It's also about the stories and imaginations they evoke. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.